choir for the beautiful selection this morning. Fix the microphone here. It's great to be in the house of the Lord. As we gather and go over our, uh, our prayer concerns, uh, Bob Robinson went to be with the Lord early this morning. Uh, Miguel is with us this morning. And Bob has just been surrounded by love and care. Bob is also uh, Thelma Petit's little brother. And we just we thank God that Bob is in the everlasting loving arms of God, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he has been well taken care of by the grace of God and his family. We continue to pray for Carol Floyd. Uh, she's at home very sick with bronchitis. Uh, Fran Nissen has been moved to CARE 1 at Morristown. You have prayer cards. Thank you for taking care of that. Joan Hardy is now on hospice care at the Mount Holly Care Center. Uh, it's great to have Bill Smith with us this morning. We'll continue to pray for Bill. Thank you so much. Helen Van Ness continues on long-term hospice. Uh, continue to pray for Ken Smith. Also, Joan Leswind has two brothers who have been in the hospital. We need to pray for them. Uh, Shirley Riker, we continue in our prayers. Just in, it's a long list, but you know, God is God is powerful. And God is with us to comfort and to heal and to do great things. The theme today is beyond the cross and what that means, what that may mean in each of our lives. So let's come before the Lord in an attitude of prayer. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> we ask for your blessing, that we may be a blessing in the kingdom of God. Lord, we pray for our family, for our friends, we pray for those close to us. We pray that we may serve the Christ in them. Lord, we pray for, for teachers, we pray for first responders, we pray for people of influence. We pray for our Sunday school. We pray for our upcoming vacation Bible school. We pray for Team Vital. Lord, we pray for our president, President Trump. We pray for Vice President Pence. We pray for Governor Murphy. Lord, we agree in prayer for our bishop and for the district superintendents of our region, for Frank, for Gina, and for Drew. 
And Lord, we pray for all manner of healing, particularly of body, of mind, of spirit, or relationship. God, you are a healer. We pray for the names, for the situations that are on these prayer cards. We pray and thank you for bringing a happy issue out of every affliction. We pray especially for uh, we pray especially for the Robinson family, for Carol, for Fran, for Joan, for Bill, for Helen, for Ken, for Joan's brothers, for Shirley. We pray for everyone here. You know exactly where we need to be touched. And Lord, we pray that we may live in the power of your resurrection. Again, we pray for, for everyone, Lord, that we may be a blessing in the kingdom of God. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. We ask you for the forgiveness of our sins, and we ask you for new life. We pray that you will instruct us and teach us in the way that we should go, that you will counsel us with your eye upon us. Your word says, I praise the Lord who gives me counsel. Even at night, my heart instructs me. We sing and he walks with me and he talks with me and tells me I am his own. Lord, may that be a reality in each of our lives. May we walk with you. We also thank you, Lord, for those our, our guests today, and those of you restored to be back with us. We just thank you and praise you in a wonderful way. And Lord, we call upon your name and we ask you to bless us, to enlarge us, inside and out, that your hand would be with us and that you would keep us from evil, that we may not cause pain. We pray for our relationship with you. If anyone here does not know you as Savior and Lord, may they accept you, Jesus. For those of us who have made that decision, may we be changed by that decision. We pray, just bless us, one to another, as your scriptures say. And we ask you for blessing. And help us to be a blessing in the kingdom of God. We pray for the military. We pray for all who serve. We pray, Lord, that you would just lead us and guide us. And that you would help us to follow you. As you have taught us, Lord, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Lord, we pray for courage as you lead us and help us, Lord, to live new lives because of your resurrection. It is in your name we pray, Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Amen.